We're talking about something different, a movie. It's got drama, emotion, intrigue, but most of all, it's a personal inside look at Ohio politics and its impact on a family. Uh, it's a year and a half in the making epic documentary entitled Swing State, made by rookie filmmaker Jason Zone Fisher and a couple of his partners. Jason, the son of Lieutenant Governor Lee Fisher, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. We're okay. going to liven it up this morning. All right, we'll, well let's, <laughs> let's see some of your handiwork. Let's roll the trailer, folks. Ohio represents America. It's a microcosm of the entire country. As Ohio goes, over the nation. The path to the White House comes right through Ohio. Ohio is obviously the front center in that battleground. Ohio so desperately needs a different kind of leadership. There had been one party domination for so long. This has been ground zero for the culture of corruption. You have to win Ohio. Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. This is the toughest Democratic administration. Ohio is a deep, deep trouble that needs a new governor. I did speak probably 10 minutes to them. <laughs> the main reason that I accepted Ted Strickland's offer to be his running man is this man's character and what's in his heart. Come November the 2nd, we're going to fry their bacon! This was a living room. It was a really nice room, too. What happened to our house? Let's just say that this is a temporary friendly takeover. I do have to go back to it. I really feel so much closer to my dad. Talking to him in the last two minutes. But we're going to see a movie together. 73 days. This is Ted Strickland and Lee Fisher against someone who has been part of the scandal and corruption for the last 12 years. If Ken Blackwell suppressed votes in 2004 to help elect George Bush, just imagine what he'll do to elect himself. To have a situation arise where the person who's overseeing the election is actually in the election, that's wrong. The machines don't work. Oh, Blackwell is alone in this, right? I set up every one of these machines. You did? I don't know really what I'm doing. What I have to find out is whether we can cast a provisional ballot and still come back and cast a regular ballot. I don't know. I don't think you can do it. I don't think so. Have you seen the meatball? Is there an electric slide? I'm Kim Blackwell. Well, I'm out giving speeches. This is my opponent. That will be a politician. I have spent most of my major birthdays at events for your father. I know Lee Fisher well enough to know that this is not the end for him. So this has sort of been my life. I knew it. And okay. I knew it, so it was okay. It says, welcome to uh, the Fisher family. You're born into this. You got no choice. Since the Republican Party came into existence, no Republican has ever been elected president without carrying Ohio. I really do believe that we're going to make a difference. I really do believe that. All right, well, give the, give the trailer good reviews. Bravo. So, thank you. So thank you. what were you trying to accomplish here? This is more than just a deluxe home movie. Definitely. This is a... Uh, uh a big time deal, you know, and I couldn't have done this by myself, uh, along with uh, my friend from college, John and Trader, co-director, and fellow Clevelander, H. Spencer Young. We took 250 hours worth of footage and edited it down to about 90 minutes. So, uh, had I known how large a project this was, I don't know if I would have gotten into it, but it was an incredible experience. Uh, it sure beats film school. I got to spend time on the campaign trail with my dad, meet a lot of exciting people, and uh, I have a product now that, uh, you so know, it's not just a movie for political junkies. I mean, you're hoping to get a mainstream audience. You're entering it in some film festivals. Tell us about that. Definitely, definitely. Our, our plans are to enter into the film festivals. I think that political people, you know, your fans, the big Tom Bears junkies, they're going to want to see this film. Well, that's a small but, group. You'll have them in the phone booth. <laughs> so uh, all five of them will definitely be lining up to buy <laughs> tickets. But beyond the Bears family, uh, I do think that, uh, you know, people my age, young people, are going to want to see a film. Even You don't have to know anything about politics to, to see a family story. and and 
no one really gets to see the behind the scenes of a politician when they go home after the speeches and the campaigning, what it's like for their children and spouses to live this crazy life. Well, thumbs up on the trailer. I thought it was excellent. Thank I, you. I enjoyed Thank it. You, um, you traveled the state with your dad and with other folks for you know a year for the campaign. Ohio is as important next year as it was last year. Definitely. For the presidential particularly. If Giuliani and Hillary Clinton are the nominees, how do you look at Ohio in 08? Who do you think wins it? Because I think whoever wins Ohio probably is President of the United States. I, What's your sense of that? I totally agree, and that was one of the, the reasons we wanted to do this film, because I've always believed that whoever won that race in 2006 between Strickland and Blackwell, they would have a huge advantage. That party would have a huge advantage in 2008. So seeing as that, uh, you know, Ted Strickland, a Democrat, is now the governor, I would bet that Hillary Clinton or whoever the Democratic nominee will be president, and Ohio will be the race. And reason. your dad obviously comes out looking pretty good in this. Let's. Yeah, he looks good, but this is not a, you know, Lee Fisher commercial. This is the real stuff. So he's a little skeptical as well. He's a little worried because, you know, okay. if I was making a film about you, you might be a little worried. I'd but, be very worried. But at the, end, <laughs> at the end of the day, he he's a great guy, and I truly believe and it. And we hope this this will be at the Cedar Lee or maybe even uh, other uh, Cineplexes. Stay tuned. SwingState08.com for more information. See the trailer. Look at that. I'm plugging. I'm how a pro. Would you, how okay. would you categorize okay. it? Drama, comedy, which one? Uh, a little of everything. It's got drama, it's got comedy, it's got, you know, political, uh, but... You'll it, laugh, you'll cry, you'll cheer. You'll do it all. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Jason, thanks very much. Thank Good you, luck, Jason. Thanks. That's the end of the line for this week's Between the Lines. Stay put. Tim Russell to Meet the Press coming up next. Thanks for spending some time with us. I'm Tom Barris for Lee Weingart, Bill Patman, and filmmaker Jason Zone Fisher. Thanks for being here. Hope you'll be here again next week for another look Between the Lines. Is that one of them slasher horror movies, you think? No, it's a documentary. Serious? Are you not, are you not paying attention? Come I on. sort of paid a little bit of attention. <laughs> I hope Jason wasn't, wasn't watching. He just yeah. said you paid a little bit of attention. He was sipping on whatever's in yes. that mug. Yeah. It, whatever's in there. Yeah. Yeah. Good, uh, good Ohio cider. Oh, it smells lovely. It's yeah. heated. Uh, what a, a very nice looking day it is out there. It is going to be a cold night tonight. Freeze warning in effect for all of Northeast Ohio.